everybody, it's Slappy McPhee from The Retro Arena, and we're here today with another quick tutorial. This one's going to go ahead and be regarding uh, the HID pack kernel upgrade for the Odroid XU4, specifically those users that had version 3.0 out there, and they're looking to bring their current build up to the, roughly the same level of what our new OS-based refresh is on the website of version 3.1.x. At the time of this recording, that's version 3.1.2, but of course as time goes on, that will be incrementing. So, one of the things that we need to worry about taking care of is going into the downloads page on our website, and we're going to go all the way down to the bottom as of recording this video, and we're going to grab a file. These are the instructions that you're going to use to perform this operation. Head into downloads, extract, and let's take a look. Alright, so it's actually just a couple of steps that you're going to be concerned about, or actually a few, um, depending upon how you look at it. The first thing that we're going to need to do is SSH into our board as Pi Gaming. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll pull up Putty. Alright, so I want to go ahead and copy this command that we have here in the hash. Actually, it's not a hash, I'm sure somebody will say something about that. But what that does right there is, is it goes out and it grabs the uh, required commands and the hotfix to be able to perform the action. So now we're going to go ahead and copy this line and we're telling it that we're going to run this kernel upgrade. So before I do this, as a heads up, it takes roughly 45 minutes for this to complete. Um, and then other than that, about 10 to 15 minutes in, you will be prompted to answer yes. And that's essentially having to confirm that you want to go ahead and install required packages in order for this to work. So we will be back here shortly. All right, so we've now come to the point when we see this bit of information that the installation of the kernel update is complete. And shortly, as you can see right here, right, the build is rebooting, which means that the installation should have been successful. Uh, once I see that it's back up, I'm gonna go ahead and restart the session. We'll verify that we are seeing indeed the 3.10. 106 for the designation of the kernel and we'll be all set. All right, it appears we're back up. And as we can see here, we are on the Linux build 3.10.106 plus. So I hope that this was uh, helpful for you out there that we're looking to, to get this done. Like I said, um, there's several new controllers that functionality has been added in for and support, as well as some other peripheral devices that you can plug in. So hopefully um, this is something that is beneficial for you. And uh, 
we look forward to talking to you on the next tutorial or else Arena Conclave episode. Take care.